What's up YouTube family? It is Christine with Gage Girl Training. I just finished my workout. That's why my hair is crazy looking right now. But it doesn't matter because I want to spend some time chatting with you guys about healing your hormones. So <clears throat> welcome to the live stream and happy Friday, happy Super Bowl weekend. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited for the big game on Sunday. And um, I have a few quick announcements before we get into the topic. So if you are joining, say hello, comment where you are from. And like I said, please ignore my hair because, and I can't even find my hair tie. Oh wait, I got one here. So welcome, welcome. Super Bowl weekend, I am hosting two sales. And the first sale is the biggest sale I've ever hosted in the history of Gage Girl Training. All DIY meal plans are $29. It includes the hormone reset and includes the six week shreds. If you're not sure what plan you should be doing, all I need you to do is shoot me a DM over on Instagram and I will help you figure out which plan is best for you. Or if you already know what plan you're looking for, sorry guys. Um, just head on over and pick it up because this sale is incredible. New York, Dallas, Texas, welcome, welcome, welcome. And also comment how you found me. Also comment how you found me. So there's that. And then there's also the buy one, get one free of the collagen on Gage Life. And that also includes my vegan protein. So check out those promos. But we're here today to talk about how to heal your hormones fast and hormone imbalances cause a lot of health issues in women and as a result of it it can really have you spinning your wheels trying to lose body fat because your hormones are like an off on switch if they're shut off your body will not part with stored fat it will not happen and I want to talk about the signs of imbalanced hormones. I want to talk about what you can do practically. And we're going to sort through all of these things. So if you are enjoying this topic and you're struggling with fat loss and you think that, you know what, maybe there's a reason I'm struggling. Maybe there's a reason this is harder for me than it seems to be for others. Does anybody watching this live stream right now you ever feel like, man, why is it easier for everyone else to lose weight? And you feel like if you look at a carb, you gain weight. You feel like if you are not 100% on track with your workouts, with your food, with your this, with your that, it's just, it's almost like you have this extra layer of resistance to losing body fat. And if you're starting to store and accumulate more fat in the lower abdomen, and you're plateaued, and it, it, no matter how hard you work out, no matter how few calories you consume, you just feel stuck. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to heal your hormones, and I'm gonna tell you everything. I'm gonna tell you specifically. I'm, not, I'm gonna leave nothing back, and if you follow my advice, your body will change. So you are going to get the most value out of today's video, so grab a pen, grab a paper, or take some notes. So. Signs of imbalanced hormones. I want to first go through the signs. Now, yes, you could get these tested um, from a doctor, but the problem with getting your hormones tested is your hormones vary so much throughout the month and it's really hard to quantify for some folks. And you might feel crazy where you're going to your doctor, you feel off and they're like, you're fine. Have any have you ever been to the doctor and you're struggling with things and they're like, you're fine. Or they just do the thing that I despise the most is just put you on the pill. And that is probably hands down one of the worst possible things they can do because all they're doing is masking your symptoms. They're not addressing the root of the problem. So if you're enjoying this live stream, I ask you guys to take two seconds to give this live a thumbs up. I believe all you have to do is tap the three dots on your end and you should be able to find the thumbs up button, but it really, really helps me here on YouTube. So Thank you guys for taking two seconds to do that for me because it helps so much. So thank you in advance. So signs of imbalanced hormones. Number one is bleeding between periods. 
Sometimes people call it breakthrough bleeding, but if there is blood and it is not your cycle, that is a sign that something's off. Another one is hair loss. So when I say hair loss, now we all have a brush with tons of hair or you in the shower, but I'm talking like if you're starting to have thinning hair, particularly the outer parts of your eyebrows, if this part is like getting really, really thin, if you're losing hair in through like the temples and your hairline, or if you're starting to see bald patches um, in your head, um, hair loss is a sign of imbalanced hormones. Um, persistent weight gain. If you are finding that your weight's just creeping up and you're not really, you're not doing anything different. You're doing everything basically the same, but yet out of nowhere, your weight is just steadily creeping up. If you are just joining the live stream, welcome. Christine Heronic, food scientist and chemical engineer. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do to heal your hormones today. But we're first going to clarify what hormone imbalances are. And hormone imbalances are the result of when there is something wrong with your insulin levels, your estrogen levels, or your cortisol levels. If something is off with one of those three things, it may result in the signs that I'm gonna describe. And I wanna make sure that what I'm about to describe fits you. So that's why I'm gonna go through all of the symptoms first. So Monique says, IF and training helped me lose 80 pounds and I discovered you on YouTube. I noticed adult acne boils, sweating in irregular cycles. And I'm really glad you said that because um, that is definitely one of the signs. Um, the next sign, that you have imbalanced hormones is fatigue. I'm not talking about laziness. I'm not talking, I'm talking like, if you feel like you need to be drinking coffee, like all day long, all through the day, and through the evening, and through the afternoon, if no matter how much you sleep, you could have gotten eight hours, you could have gotten nine hours, 10 hours, it doesn't matter how much you've slept, or how much coffee you drink, you're still tired. I'm talking, you are tired, tired. It almost feels like there is a fog over your body and you can't describe it. You feel like nobody understands it. You feel like people low key think you're lazy and you know you aren't lazy, but there's just a higher level of resistance for you to work out, for you to do basic tasks. Maybe it's harder for you to do basic chores around your house. That fatigue is real. And that is a sign of imbalanced hormones. Another one is pelvic pain. If something you're starting to feel sharp pains in, in, in your pelvic area, that's something to pay attention to. The next one, number seven, is cold hands and feet. If your, your hands are always cold, your feet are always cold in your extremities, um, that's an issue with, the, with your hormones. Um, the next one is skin tags. Um, if you have ever seen, some people have skin tags like on their neck. I've seen people have skin tags kind of like in this region, maybe on your back. Skin tags is actually a warning sign of type 2 diabetes. Or maybe you know somebody who has skin tags. Um, good morning, Sunderbands. Um, we are talking today about how to heal your hormones fast. But I'm first going through the 20 signs of imbalanced hormones. We're going to get into a really deep discussion today. So... Grab a pen, grab some pen, paper, pencil, and really write down some notes because I am going to give you guys all of the tea and I'm going to explain to you exactly, exactly precisely what to do. So now sign number nine is if you are dealing with unusually heavy menstrual bleeding. And what does that mean? Like, I'm not sure what your guys protocol is for your period, but um. If you are the type of person, if you wear a tampon and a pad, and you find that within two hours, you've bled through the tampon, you've bled through the pad, and it it's just, maybe you've had a lot of embarrassing situations where you've bled through things at a rate that's very, very fast, and it's humiliating. Like, I think we've all been there where we've had accidents with heavy bleeding, but like, I'm talking like, it's not normal the amount of pads and tampons that you're going through. It, it's, it's a bit much. Um, the next one, number 10, is darkened skin in the armpits and neck. So if you start to see a darker tinge to your skin, um, if the pigmentation looks darker, and it, may, it might even, 
You might even be a little self-conscious where you think your armpits look dirty. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? If you see that darkening here, maybe in the groin and in the neck, um, that is a sign of imbalanced hormones. And that's it's very, very likely you have insulin resistance or you might be pre-diabetic. Stalled weight loss. No matter what you do, your weight isn't budging. Irregular cycles. Intolerable PMS. Can we talk about intolerable PMS? I think that as women, we don't get enough credit for how hard our periods can be. People, have, how many of you have ever had somebody be like, ah, oh, it's just your hormones. Oh, you're just on your period. But have you ever had a period so God awful that you just wanted to lay in bed all day? You wanted to call out sick? Like you felt like you could not function as a human being. I've had clients who have described to me intense period pain where they would be literally laying on the bathroom floor in extreme pain and agony. And everybody thinks that you're just being weak, that you're just being dramatic, but the pain you are feeling is awful, awful. And that's not normal. That's not normal. And I think it's so important to acknowledge that if your PMS is intolerable, now for me, I take the Indole 3 Carbonyl from Gage Life and it makes my periods way less painful. Um, it naturally detoxifies excess circulating hormones. It is an incredible supplement and it has changed my life and the life of many of my clients. However, um, sometimes I, before I started taking that, I used to take ibuprofen on my period, but if any of you guys take pain relievers on your period and even that isn't isn't breaking through the pain and at least allowing you to function, that's a sign of an imbalanced hormone stress. Now, I'm talking about the type of stress where you find this stress to be there there we all have stress, right? We all have things that are on our mind, things that concern us in life projects at work, family stuff, and so on and so forth. But I'm talking about the type of stress that debilitates your ability to function. You guys know what I'm talking about? I'm talking like this tense, white knuckle, anxious, wired, like it is all consuming. That is an, a hormone imbalance. That is elevated cortisol, my friends. Again, fatigue, low libido, if your sex drive is just completely gone, maybe it used to be there, but it's not. Hot flashes, conflicting results. You go to the doctor, again, they're like, basically, there's nothing wrong with you, you're tripping. And you're like, there's no way that that can be because the way I feel is so not normal. Extreme mood swings. Have you guys ever felt that your mood it is just so out of control. And the reason why we experience extreme mood swings due to hormone imbalance is because there are neurohormones in your brain that become chemically imbalanced prior to your cycle where the happiness chemicals, the, the good stuff, the dopamine, the serotonin, all that good stuff is actually biochemically suppressed. Your brain is unable to create the neurohormones that make you feel good when your hormones are imbalanced. So like, you are not imagining the fact that you are in a bad mood. You are not imagining the fact that you're cranky. You are not imagining it. Your neurohormones are sending biochemical signals to your brain that is suppressing the release of the feel good hormones. Isn't that some, that, like, that's just insane to me. That's absolutely insane to me that that, that chemically happens to women as a result of hormone imbalances. And then last but not least is an inability to lose weight no matter how hard you try. Now, if I have described you, or maybe maybe you don't fit every single one of the things that I have described, but if you, if you fit five or more of the symptoms I just described of imbalanced hormones, I want you to listen up because I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. Now, how many of you guys watching this do any of you guys have any of the symptoms I described? Again, I'm just gonna list them one more time real quick for anybody who missed the beginning. Bleeding between periods, hair loss, numbing and numbness and tingling in your hands, persistent weight gain, fatigue, 
pelvic pain, cold hands and feet, skin tags, unusually heavy menstrual bleeding, darkened skin in the armpits and neck and groin, stalled weight loss, irregular periods, intolerable PMS, stress, fatigue, low libido, hot flashes, conflicting results, extreme mood swings, and an inability to lose weight no matter how hard you try. Your doctor told me a couple years ago it was perimenopausal symptoms and yes to all. The thing is, when these things are happening, it needs to be addressed. And you can't just keep doing what you used to do to address it. So obviously, number one thing we wanna do is we wanna get you guys out of this state of misery. We wanna get you guys out of, out of feeling like this. So the number one thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to need to make some changes. The first change I want you guys to make is to start increasing your dietary fiber intake. Dietary fiber detoxifies excess circulating hormones. These excess circulating hormones, if you're not having your period every month or if your period is erratic or even if you are having that period, your body needs the opportunity to dispel the excess circulating hormones. And the problem is, especially if you're on hormonal birth control, guys, oh my gosh, like I could literally write a book about everything that's wrong with hormonal birth control, but you don't want to pump more hormones into your body. You want your body to naturally be able to balance itself. So by increasing your fiber intake, you're going to give your body the opportunity to dispel and, and get rid of this stuff. And yes, Hormones are detoxified when you have bowel movements. That is a fact. I need you guys to know this, that the excess circulating hormones can come out through your menstrual cycle and it can also come out through your bowels. So that's something you need to understand. Number one. Number two, I need you guys to stop going on low calorie diets and you need to start eating a little bit closer to your total daily energy expenditure. Um, that is very, very important that you don't go in a large caloric deficit. So what I mean is the way you figure out your macros, you need to know your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. It's a number of calories that your body needs to sustain your current body mass at rest. From there, what you're going to do is you add your activity factor, basically how many calories you're burning, including your activity. That This is your total daily energy expenditure. From here, most people will... Set up your calories to be in a deficit of 500, so that way you can lose one pound of body fat per week. When you have these symptoms that I've described, you don't want to be in a big deficit. I would say no more than maybe 200, 300 calorie deficit. So what that means is you guys are probably gonna be eating somewhere between 1,700 and 2,000 calories a day. And that can scare a lot of you guys because you're like, Christine, I'm on 1,200 calories and even 1,200 calories, I'm not losing weight. How am I going to lose weight at higher calories? The reason why you are going to lose weight at a higher calorie level is because the reason why your hormones are imbalanced is because you have nutrient deficiencies. So there are certain foods that contain nutrients. So if you take your food intake from this to this, the nutrients in that food is going to be less. Does that make sense? Because your body needs more nutrients to bring those hormones back into balance and that is why that is why you need to be eating more if you do not get enough of the appropriate nutrients your fat loss will be stalled period it won't you won't be able to so the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are consuming cruciferous vegetables kale broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. There is an active ingredient in these vegetables called indole-3-carbinol. It is a phytochemical that detoxifies the excess circulating hormones and it is scientifically proven to be effective. If you don't like, now, if you don't like those types of vegetables, you can start supplementing with indole-3-carbinol. I believe I have it linked on this video. It is a game-changing dietary supplement that will address these imbalances in a very real way, it will do more for your body than birth control ever will. And Big Pharma doesn't want you to hear this. Your doctor doesn't want you to hear this. Your doctor doesn't want you to hear this because they get kickbacks 
from the birth control prescriptions that they're keeping you on, keeping you stuck on stupid, not healing the root cause of your problems, making you think that you're crazy, keeping you biochemically dependent on these drugs that are not solving your problem. It is called indole 3 carbonyl, also known as IC3. I did link it on this video, but you can also check it out on gagelife.com, G-A-U-G-E life.com. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to start eating more fatty fish. Fatty fish and healthy fats are excellent for hormone balance. You want to be including salmon, olive oil. Um, you want to be including avocado, nuts, and seeds. Those things are so healing to the body because it allows your body to create the healthy hormones that are going to actually heal your body. And that is a really big deal. You guess you've had vitamin deficiency since my 20 because that's when it started. I guess I just don't absorb nutrients well enough. And here's the problem with that, Jennifer. So if you're not absorbing nutrients well enough, you most likely need to increase your dietary fat intake because a lot of nutrients are fat soluble. And if you're not consuming your vitamin and nutrient deficiencies with sufficient fat, your body's not going to be able to retain those nutrients and they're just going to be excreted through your urine. So you want to increase your dietary fats. And I know so many folks get afraid to eat higher in dietary fat, but you want to start avoiding um, inflammatory foods and you want to start including more healthy fat. So Jennifer says, I don't have a gallbladder since last year and you can't take fat. So under those circumstances, Jen, and I've had a lot of people with that exact scenario, I would encourage you to consume foods on my macro type three, six week shreds. I would stay in phase one of the macro type three, six week shreds. And you can do macro type three because there is some fat in there, but it's not high fat. It's like it's a little bit moderate, but you have to take two additional supplements. You need to take lipase and you need to take ox bile. Take ox bile and lipase and follow macro type three of the six week shreds and stay in phase one. That is, that, that is the solution for you. And I've had many people without a gallbladder and hormone imbalances do that exact recipe with excellent results. I'm talking breakthroughs, breaking through plateaus, and you will feel so much better. So that is the solution for you in that specific situation. Um, but guys, we want to start embracing more fats, whole eggs, salmon, avocado, nuts, seeds. Now, when it comes to red meat, as long as your red meat is coming from a quality source, maybe some grass-fed beef or something that's organic, you're perfectly fine. Your right knee aches all the time when you exercise. I don't know why. What can I do to help this kind of pain, please? So if you're dealing with knee pain, you are most likely low in synovial fluid. Synovial fluid is the, it's the material that lubricates your joints. And the synovial fluid is protein-based. And if you are not consuming sufficient levels of protein in your diet, your body is going to pull from your synovial fluid to get the proteins that it needs for bodily function. So what you need to do is you want to start supplementing with collagen peptides. You want to start um, including higher protein in your diet. And you can start with the collagen. There is a sale on gagelife.com for the Super Bowl. The collagen peptides are buy one, get one free. You have to add both items to the cart. The discount automatically comes off at checkout, but you do not have enough synovial fluid in your knees. You need to boost your protein, you need to boost that collagen, and you need more dietary protein. Um, somebody says, I do CrossFit. Sometimes I work twice a day. I eat right and sufficient protein, but you can't lose body fat and have hormonal belly. What do you do? Now, you would benefit from doing my hormone reset protocol. This protocol is $199. It is a game changer. It will change your life. It's on sale right now for only $29 for the Super Bowl weekend. It is an incredible protocol. It is going to allow you to boost your math metabolism, balance your blood sugar, get your thyroid working properly, 
it is going to bring your insulin levels into balance, it is going to lower your cortisol, and it is going to bring you out of a state of estrogen dominance. It's going to bring your estrogen to progesterone levels back into balance by detoxifying the excess circulating hormones with sufficient levels of dietary fiber. So what you definitely want to do is start consuming at least 40 grams of dietary fiber every single day. How about if you eat french fries from giant food stores and baked chicken wings? I would say that the chicken wings are fine. I would cut back on the fries. What does the program consist that does all of this? The program is the 21 day hormone reset protocol. It is available on gagegirltraining.com or after I get off of this video, I will post it in the comments section. But this protocol changes every two weeks. It has detailed macros, it has menus, it has grocery lists, it has comes with community support. I feel like I have tried everything and can't stick to a diet without being starving. So Maya, the hormone reset will not have you starving and it is very, it is very counterintuitive. So the hormone reset protocol is a higher ca calorie plan the protocol is $199. It is on sale this weekend only for the Super Bowl for only $29. This is the biggest sale in the history of Gage Girl Training. I have never, ever, ever marked it this low, but there are a lot of people out there who need healing. And I am telling you, this will do more than birth control. This will do more than liposuction. You will lose hormonal belly fat naturally. And the thing is, if you feel like you're going to be starving, that is the exact opposite of what you want to be doing to balance your hormones. Your body needs nutrients. Your body needs food. Your body needs to be satiated. And everyone has it wrong because I'm telling you why everybody has it wrong. The common diets out there I call the bro diet, the bodybuilder diet, the thing all the fitness folks do. That high protein, you're eating all the egg whites, you're eating all the broccoli, you're eating sweet potatoes. That's great. That's great if you have no hormone imbalances. That's great if you are a man because women are not small men and women need more dietary fat than men. And in addition to all of those things, those protocols only work for certain people under certain circumstances. And if you're struggling to lose weight, people will put you on a plan like that you're not seeing any progress that will lower your calories and then lower your calories and then lower your calories that is not what you want i was diagnosed with hashimoto's i have high cortisol levels would getting this protocol help with this mrs singh the answer is 1000 percent yes i have worked with many clients with hashimoto's and high cortisol and this is the program that is going to heal that from the inside out so back to what i was saying is that you want to be getting at least 40 grams of fiber per day Getting high fiber is very hard. We're talking more chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds. We're talking avocado. We're talking leafy greens. You need fiber, 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 fiber. Now, you want to ramp this up slowly because do you know that the average adult in America only gets five grams of fiber per day? Five. One, two, three, four, five grams of fiber per day. If you don't have fiber... You're not going to have any volume to your stool. If you don't have any volume to your stool, guess what? No pun intended, that shit is not going to come out of your body. You need to get the excess circulating toxins out of your body. And fiber is what does it. Now, if you struggle to hit that much fiber naturally, I have a wonderful supplement on gagelife.com. It's called my prebiotic fiber. You get 10 grams of fiber just off of one scoop. It's flavorless. You could add it to your coffee. Um, you could blend it to a smoothie. It's phenomenal. And it, I'm not trying to be TMI, but it's gentle, meaning like it just does what it needs to do. Like your stools aren't going to be crazy. It just, you're going to have very nice bowel movements. Let me just put it that way. You're going to have very nice bowel movements. You're going to feel very refreshed as a result of it. And you're going to feel very, very good. Um, so with that being said, 
sorry friends we just need to pause for a minute because the troll action is getting crazy if you're just joining the live stream welcome it is christine heronic food scientist and chemical engineer we're talking about how to heal your hormones fast and i just want you guys to take two seconds to please give this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up do I monitor my clients on this protocol? How do you get started? So you can order the protocol and you get community support in my private Facebook group. If you want one-on-one -on -one monitoring and support, you would need to sign up for one-on-one -on -one online coaching with me. But what you can do in the meantime is get started on the plan, join my private Facebook community. You can ask questions in there you can gain support so we can clarify things for you but this 29 dollars offer doesn't include one-on-one -on -one online coaching it is for a plan that you can follow on your own which i'm telling you is going to be more than enough as long as you join the private facebook group so you can keep us posted on how things are going that's how you're going to get that support and help because i've had so many clients in that group who have successfully gone through the hormone reset as the recipes are phenomenal, the meals are amazing, it's easy to follow. And the best way I can describe what it feels like to reset your hormones is it feels like a hug to your body. That's gonna sound really cheesy, but your body, you will feel that brain fog lift. You're, the first thing you're gonna notice is your brain fog is gonna go away. The food noise is going to be turned off. You're going to start feeling full and satisfied and your energy is going to come back. Those are the first couple things that you're going to notice. Now, the first four days is going to be hard for a lot of folks. The first three to four days, your body's going to be going through a sugar detoxification. You're going to be going through a caffeine detoxification. And the first few days will be challenging. But once you get to the other side of that, you will have more energy than you have ever imagined. So the group coaching is $29 this weekend. No, I'm not talking about group coaching. I am talking about the hormone reset protocol and all of the six week shred meal plans are $29 and it comes with community support in the private Facebook group, which is complimentary. And yes, it is for this weekend only. And Cindy, I do have a plant-based hormone reset. It is phenomenal. Um, it is definitely phenomenal. You will love it. And Mrs. Singh says yes to brain fog. And I also have vegan meal plans and vegan shreds. So um, I've spent a lot of time catering to the plant-based community. I have a lot of love for you guys. And I know how hard it is for my plant-based folks to find foods that help. So um, SMJ, I'm at my wits end. Anything I eat, I bloat. What's wrong with my gut, please? So I would need to know more information. What I would love for you to do is to send me a private message over on Instagram so I could ask you some more questions offline. Um, France Jolie, I hope I'm saying your name right. Can I email you regarding which program will work for me? Um, the answer is yes. You can email info at gagegirltraining.com. Um, Sheena says, do I have a book about the hormone resetting? You started reading Unlock Your Macro Type yesterday. So I am writing a new book on the hormone reset it doesn't exist yet however um you can get the hormone reset protocol sheena i strongly encourage you to do so because this is a 200 hundred dollar program worth every penny at full price worth every single penny at full price and this is only 29 dollars. this is the biggest sale i have ever had and the reason why i'm doing this is because i get very frustrated when i feel like women are being um, are experiencing medical gaslighting. And have any of you guys ever experienced medical gaslighting where it's basically, you know, a doctor is just basically trying to tell you that what you're, you're not feeling what you're feeling. They're basically trying to tell you that you're crazy. They're basically trying to tell you like, oh, just lose weight, just work harder, just work harder. And that is the, the most frustrating thing for a woman to hear because the complications, the fatigue, the, it's real. It's very, very real. What well, foods are not good for the reset? So the things you want to avoid on the reset are inflammatory foods. You're going to be avoiding gluten. You will avoid dairy. You will re avoid refined sugars. You're avoiding soy. You're avoiding caffeine. I do eliminate nightshades. I just don't want anything that could put 
and anything inflammatory. It is, it is, um, it is completely eliminated there. Um, so for those of you guys just joining, we are talking about how to balance your hormones naturally and how to heal your hormones fast. So Sheena says, I'm a nurse and no, you have been medically gaslit multiple times and you've, you never started birth control by the way. And good for you for standing your ground because all doctors want to do is just throw the pill at you. Do I recommend mushroom coffee? I've never tried it personally, but it is an excellent alternative. I've heard good things about it, but I haven't tried it. Um, it's something I'm, I'm willing to try. I'm definitely willing to give it a try. And I think that might be a really good idea for a future video where maybe we could do some taste testing and see what's good and what's not. Because I've heard interesting things about it. Um, it is a little pricey. So I want to make sure I do some research first. Can I... Oh, good God. And I'm just telling you guys, anybody here who comments something distasteful, irrelevant, or distracting, I'm banning you from the channel. I have no time for your nonsense and foolishness. And you're taking away from people who really want my help. So everybody will be banned. So does anybody have any questions? Now, the $29 hormone reset protocol, again, I'll drop the link here right after this live stream where you can order it. You can get it on the website. You can um, also pick up the hormone reset supplements to balance with it. But you also want to get in on the six-week shreds as well for those of you guys who um, don't have imbalanced hormones but you just want to do one of my shreds, shred plans. You guys can do that as well. So, guys, um, I thank you for joining me today. And does anybody have any other questions? And thank you so much, Mrs. Singh. And to anybody here who's about to invest in the hormone reset, would that help with thyroid dysfunction, Dina? And the answer is 1,000% yes. Um, it is my goal, it is my mission that you guys will experience healing, that you will feel better. I wanna bless you guys. I wanna encourage you guys. I want you to know that you're not crazy. I want you to know that there is a solution to what you're dealing with. You can lose stubborn hormonal belly fat. You can. You have to be strategic. You need to be willing to change your nutrition. But I, I would not waste my time and energy doing this if I didn't, number one, believe in my program, if I didn't have the scientific backing, if I didn't have the clients who have experienced the results. Because you guys, I've been doing this for 11 years now and my mission is to help you guys heal. My mission is to help you guys heal. So um, please feel better, my friends. Thank you for watching. And before you guys sign off, you know what I'm going to ask you guys? Please give the live a thumbs up. Give the live a thumbs up. You got to tap the three dots, I believe, and just figure out how to give it a thumbs up before you sign off. But I love you guys. Enjoy the savings. Um, and last but not least, keep in mind that I also am doing buy one, get one free on gagelife.com. So take care. I'll see you next time.